Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of C programming tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to pass values between two functions in C programming. So in the previous part, we already say, already learned about how to working with functions in C programming. So by using functions, a large complex program uh, into a made an easier one uh, by dividing that large program into individual modules by using functions. So uh, one of the main advantages of writing a program into function is to is the uh, reusability of that particular function. So if you want to reuse a particular function, then you have to uh, make sure that you have to uh, you, you have to ensure an effective communication uh, between that uh, that functions. So that means you have to pass some information to that function, and you have to uh, get them uh, get them data get some data back from that function. So here in this episode, uh, we are going to learn about how to uh, communicate uh, to a, communicate to a function by passing some data or passing some values to that function. So for passing some data or passing some value to a function, uh, we using some type of variables called uh, arguments or parameters. Arguments or parameters are the variables used to communicate between two functions. Okay, so here I'm going to demonstrate how this work using an example. So you can uh, you can get the uh, you can get the syntax and uh, you can get the uh, start, get the syntax and uh, complete information from this example. It, it is very uh, easy to learn the function by using a complete working example. So here I'm going to uh, create a function. Here, this function does not return anything to the call calling function. So here the return type is void, and uh, I name the function as display info this is just a simple function called display info and here you can see that at the para at the bracket of the function there is no arguments or no variables are visible that means now uh, this function it is not possible to pass any value to this function you can call this function and you can uh, run the statement inside this function but now it is not possible to pass any value to this function because there is no uh, variable or there is no way to pass anything to this function because there is no arguments or parameters are present on this function. So now I am going to pass a value to this function. For that here on the main method I am going to create a variable char name of size 50 so character array of size 50 and I assign a value to this character array this is my name ok just put a character uh, just put a string on this character array Prebish. ok now I, I want to display the name from this function. Okay, so uh, for that I have to pass this value or this variable to this function. So in that case, we use the uh, in that case we use that uh, special type of variables called arguments or parameters. That means this function has uh, this function how to receive this data this value from the main function. For that you have to specify some variable within this function bracket. So here uh, the data that I am going to pass is a character array of size 50. So here I have to specify some variable that that is a character array of size having size 50. So here I declare another variable is a character array of size 50. Okay, so now this function uh, is able to receive a string uh, that contain 0 to 50 characters. That means that string contain 51 characters. That means now this function is able to receive a string that contain maximum of 51 characters. So here I am going to call that function display 
display info just name that function and put the function bracket so I have to pass the value to that function so I have to put the variable name inside this bracket so here the variable name is name that is a character array that contain that string called prebish okay so now it is okay so I call that function and I pass that value of the variable name to that function so whenever the compiler invoke this function it will receive a string from the main method on this variable called yes that means it's a string array so here I can use that string so here I'm going to print that string here print of name is name is percentage yes is a character array so use the control word percentage yes and I have to specify that variable name here the variable name is yes okay okay so I call that function with an argument these variables are called here I pass the value of the variable name so this is a parameter or argument and the variable has received that value from the calling function that called func calling function so these two are arguments here this is the argument this is the variable that passed the value and this is the variable that receive the value for that function okay now we have to compile it compile the program no errors are available uh, so now we can run it execute run okay we got the output name prabish here in this function I just pass only one value so here uh, I pass a string a string array that that why I using only one variable here so if you want to more than one if you want to pass more than one variable or one uh, more than one value to a function you have to specify that number of variables in that function so suppose here I have to pass another variable h is an integer variable h equal to 26 okay so here I have to uh, display the age uh, I have to display the age inside the display function display info function so I already pass one value to that function it's a string array now I want to pass this variable age to that function so I have to uh, pass that value here so I put a comma operator and specify that variable age is, is an integer variable it's an integer value so in order to receive that value here on the function declaration also you have to define you have to specify a variable of the same type so here I use a variable of same type it's also an integer also you can notice that here the variable name is age and here on the function declaration also I use the same variable name but it is correct because these two variables are different that means a variable inside a function is local to that function that means this variable int age is available only on the main function and this argument age is available only on display info function that means you can use the same argument name or you can use the same variable name in function calling and function declaration it is also possible okay so now I'm going to print the variable age put a new line using slash on age is it is integer so using percentage D and specify that variable name age okay now I save the program now compile it and run it we got the correct output name and age okay 
and the order of the arguments are also important that means here I first I put the string second I put the integer that is very important so it is not possible to put the integer first at function declaration that is uh, that makes some compiler error that means the type and order of the arguments are same in function calling and function declaration okay I hope you enjoy this video please try a lot of examples by yourself thank you for watching see you in the next part